Hi, this is Teresa from Worship Expressions. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make tambourine tassels. Let's get started. To make a tambourine tassel, you will need mylar fringe, which is this shiny material cut into strips, and you need two layers of it. So this is called two-ply mylar fringe, and in this example one side is gold and the other side is purple you can also use the tinsel icicles that can sometimes be found around christmas time you just need two layers of that and this is about six inches in length you will also need extra wide double fold bias tape it's a half inch wide and you can find this at Hobby Lobby or pretty much any craft or sewing store. I usually use white because it's a neutral color, but this does come in all different colors. I also use Aileen's Tacky Glue. You could probably use any kind of glue, but I find that Aileen's Tacky Glue has a really good hold, a very strong bond, and it makes the tassels really sturdy. And you can find this at Walmart or any craft store. You'll also need two different kinds of ribbon. First of all, this is a quarter inch satin ribbon and this is to hang the tassel from to the tambourine and you can use a color that matches the color of your tassel for example since i'll be making a purple and gold tassel i'm choosing to use a purple ribbon to match or you can use a neutral color like white which would match any color tassel and finally you will need a, a wider ribbon a 5 8 inch ribbon for the trim for the top of the tassel or any type of trim that you would like to use for the top of the tassel as long as it's approximately 5 8 inch in diameter. I like to use the metallic uh, colors that match the tassel so in this case I'll be using gold to match the gold in the tassel but you could also use an iridescent color to um, match all different colors or a silver metallic or any type of trim that you prefer. I also wanted to mention that you can make solid colored tassels by using just one color of the mylar fringe as long as you have two layers of it and you can also mix and match colors. I've made tassels with up to six different colors in it as long as you use approximately six inches of material and have two layers. To get started, make sure you have a flat working surface lined with paper to protect the surface that you're working on. I'm just using a clipboard lined with a piece of computer paper and I find that that works very well without causing the glue to stick too much to the surface and it protects my working area. So first of all, we are going to take the bias tape and measure approximately six inches in length. Sometimes I like to do maybe six and a quarter inches just to make sure that there is enough coverage. So I'm gonna measure about six and a quarter inches and cut it right here. Next, we are gonna open up the bias tape. It opens up like this and we are going to apply the glue. So you don't want to apply too much glue, but just try to get it evenly spread on both sides of the bias tape. Not too much, not too little. Let's try to get it even out. Once you have the glue on both sides of the inside of the bias tape, then you could take your mylar fringe and decide if you're doing more than one color, decide which color you want to be more prominent. 
and that's the color that you're going to put face down because that will be on the outside of your tassel. In this case, I want the purple to be more prominent, so I'm gonna put that face down inside the bias tape. So we're gonna apply it to one side. We're just gonna press the fringe onto one side of the bias tape and then fold over the other side. So now the fringe is sandwiched between both sides of the bias tape. After that, we are going to apply the glue to the inside surface of the bias tape. Again, not too much, not too little. Just try to get it spread evenly. Just make sure there's enough coverage so that the tassel will hold and be sturdy. Then we're going to take the quarter inch satin ribbon and measure approximately 10 and a half inches. This is going to be for hanging the tassel to the tambourine. So we're gonna measure about 10 and a half inches of this ribbon and cut it right here. And you're gonna go probably about a half inch in to the bias tape and press down the ribbon, two sides of the ribbon, and loop it like that. Apply a little bit of glue to the inside of the ribbon where you just attached it. And now we're going to roll the bias tape like this. You can see it, all right? We're just gonna roll it up. Roll it up like a tortilla roll. Just roll, roll, roll all the way up. And so you can see, we already can see the shape of the tassel. To reinforce the tassel to make sure it is strong and sturdy, I like to add some extra glue to the inside of the tassel here, just to give it extra sturdiness and strength durability, as well as the opening edge where it attaches. I like to add a little bit of extra glue to make sure that it holds. And that is the first phase of making the tassel. So we're going to let this dry. It needs to dry overnight, and then we will move on to step two. To let the tassel dry, I just use a box top like this lined with wax paper so the tassel, the glue doesn't stick to it and just set the tassel, or if you're making more than one tassel, you can set multiple ones inside the box top to dry. So normally I let the tassels dry overnight before doing these next two steps but I thought I would try doing them a little sooner to see how it would work out in case you need to finish making your tassels sooner. So I gave it about an hour, and as you can see, the glue is already starting to set. So I'm gonna give this a try and see how it works out. So the next step is you can either attach the trim or cut the tassel to length. It really doesn't matter which step you do first. I'm gonna cut the tassel first to the length that I want. And I usually cut them to a length of 19 inches, but you can cut it to whatever length you prefer. And I usually do this on a measuring board on the floor, but for the purpose of showing it better on this video. I'm going to use a tape measure, which works perfectly fine. So I'm going to line up the base of the tassel at the 19 inches mark, and then go ahead and cut the tassel to that length. It's easier to do it on the floor with the cutting board, but 
um, this will be fine. So we'll just trim it like that. And then you can do whatever you like with that extra fringe. And now the tassel is the length that I want. And the last step is going to be to add the decorative trim. So we're going to take the 5 8 inch ribbon or whatever type of trim you choose. I'm using this gold metallic ribbon. Make sure you get the one without the wire in it so that it's more flexible. And we are going to measure just by hand around the top of the tassel to see how much ribbon we need. And I'm gonna just overlap it slightly here. If you could see that. And we'll just cut it there. And now, so we have this piece of trim that we are going to attach around the top of the tassel. So take some glue and just glue up and down around the outside of the bias tape, the top of the tassel. Just not too much but you wanna to try to get it as even as possible and make sure you have coverage over all of the, the area. Then take the ribbon trim and place it over the bias tape that we just glued and just press it down so that it is secure and add a little bit of glue where the seam is to make sure that the trim is secure. And there we go. So now I would definitely let the glue dry for at least 24 hours or overnight before using it to make sure that the glue cures, that it holds and it's sturdy. Once again, I like to set it in the box top lid lined with wax paper to let it dry so that the glue does not stick to anything it's not supposed to stick to. And there we go. We have our beautiful tambourine tassel. After the tassel is completely dry, double check to make sure that there are no loose edges and reinforce with some extra glue if there are any edges that look like they are loose or need to be reinforced. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. To learn more about worship tools and how to use them, check out my video on the significance of flags, tabrets, and streamers and other worship tools. And be sure to subscribe to my channel to get updates when new videos are posted. Thank you so much for watching.